Okay, people, I'm back. This is Gloria Drummond. Welcome to my channel. And I'm in a very, very serious, deep discussion. And I'm going to, to, to do this. I'm going to finish, finish this. Now, I'm not copying Nikki's video. I am doing my own, my own version of her video that she did a year ago. On the twenty, well, on the twenty twenty second of uh, what did I say of August? Yeah, the twenty second of August, two thousand fourteen. One that I hadn't, I hadn't seen. I hadn't seen that one. And so, all right, I'm going to read where I left off. Now the Holy Spirit is on me. Now listen, to those of you that know me, you've got to know me since last January. And to those of you that do know me, I go by the Word of God. I go by what the Word of God says. You don't go by what man says. You go by the Word of God. What the Holy Word says. I've said this before. The pre-trib, the post-trib, millennium, millennium trib. You don't listen to no man. You go by what the Bible says. I'm just relaying to you what God's Holy Word says, people. This is very serious very very serious so I'm going now I'm going to to go ahead and read okay now I feel the Lord's Spirit all over me it's all over me all over me all right now we left off with verse uh, verse 28 I think or 27 of uh, um, Matthew chapter 24 the destruction of the temple and signs before the end okay the coming of the Son of Man. Now, he, now, I've read some of this to you before. Yes. I've read some of this to you before. All right. All right. <clears throat> okay, it says, I'm going to read some of this again. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powerful heaven, heavens of the heaven, but the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the Son of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Okay, all right. And then it says, um, in, let's see, I'm going to read, 33 verse 33 so likewise ye when ye shall see all these things know that this is that it is near even at the doors 34 verily I say unto you this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled and we are in the last generation we are in the last generation heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away and we don't and we need not to fear as long as we have the Lord with us and we have the Holy Spirit it with us and also Jesus, Jesus Christ. All right. I, I just, I just get. No man knows the day. This is true. No man knows the day or the hour. No, no man knows the day or the hour. Again, read the Bible. Read the Bible. It's, it talks in the Bible. Verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the no days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were, were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and knew not till the flood came, and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right, I'm going to skip down a little bit. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. This is verse 42. 43, but know this, that if the goodman of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in that such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. The Son of Man cometh. We know not the day or the hour. We know not the day or the hour. All right, 46. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Okay, but, it, but and in 
But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the, with the drunken, the, lo the Lord of that servant shall come in a day that when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and he shall cut, cut him asunder, and po appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Okay, okay. Okay, what was the other verse? Was the other one? Let's see. Twenty-four. Let's see. Chapter twenty-four. I think I just read that. Verse nine. I think I. I think I just read that. Yeah, I did. I just read that. I just read it. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say it again. You go by what you go by, what God's word says, not by what man, man says. Oh. oh my 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 my. I just want to I just want to say something. Now this is Gloria Harlow, my earthly dad's daughter talking to you to you folks out there my dad was just as near a saint on this earth I could tell you all kinds of things about my earthly dad he was he was you would have to you would have had to have known him you would have had to have known him and there was nothing spoken all them years ago about a pre-tribulation. I know there's songs about rapture, like I'll see you in the rapture and all that kind of stuff. And it says after the tribulation. After the tribulation. Remember this. Remember these words. After the tribulation. After the tribulation. And there'll be some of you that will not believe me. You don't have to believe me. Read it in the Bible and, and go go to Thessalonians. I don't know what verses it, Nikki Nikki she didn't specify what verses. It's in Th Thessalonians. There's more about about this in Thessalonians. So go to Thessalonians and read and read it and read it. Because God is not the author of confusion. No, He's not the God. The God he's not the author of confusion. See, I'm I'm just I have the Holy Spirit on me, people. I have the Holy Spirit on me. But I'm talking to you as Gloria Harlow, my earthly dad's daughter, and the Holy Spirit bearing witness. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. This Bible is a, it's a sword. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. It's words of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And I've said this how many times. If you don't understand a verse, read it. Pray, read it, and pray, and he will give you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And we have to really get deep, deep, and I mean deep, into Jesus, because we are going to need him. We don't know what, I've said this before too, we don't know what we have facing us, but we, we are the messengers of God as Christians. Turn your lives over to Jesus and be a Christian. Be a soldier for Jesus. Be a soldier for Jesus. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Because man, maybe man can kill the body, but you can't, feel, you can't kill the soul because the soul doesn't die. The soul doesn't die. And we are to not be afraid. It says, be thou not afraid, for thou art with, thou art with me. He is with us. He will be with us until the end. There's not just thousands of angels. There's millions of angels. There's a mighty working going on in heaven, getting ready to make, getting ready to, to do a mighty, because when all hell, and I'm going to say hell, breaks loose. But see, in biblical, in biblical years, a day can be a, can be a thousand years or a hundred years. It's it, in, in biblical, biblical terms. And my dad spoke about so much of this all them years ago, over 
over 40 some years ago, my dad talked about this. My dad talked about it. Yes, he did, bless his heart. He talked about all this. And we are, like I said a while ago, we are the last generation. We are the last generation. The Lord is going to come in, in this generation. When? We, do, we don't know. We, like I said, we are in the days of sorrows now. We are in the days of sorrows. The birth pangs, in the days of sorrows. And I have been called by God and I have been chosen to speak it, teach it, and preach it. That's my new slogan. My new, my new saying is speak it, teach it, and preach it. That's what I was called to do. Not to sugarcoat anything. Not to sugarcoat. If I lose it, if I lose any subscribers, well, I'm sorry. It's in the book. It's in it's in the holy book. It's in the book. God's word, not my words. The Lord's words. It's not just me babble, babbling on a, a bunch of stuff. It's in the Bible, in the Holy Bible, the, the KJV. I am a child of the Most High God. And Him shall I serve. So just, just don't take my word for it, people. Read the Bible. Read it. Get right. Get your hearts right with Jesus. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to have to endure. A lot of stuff we're going to have to go through. A lot of, a lot of things. That's why they, they say to get stocked up on water and stuff like that. Yeah. But we're not supposed to be afraid. If we are, if we are, if we are children of the Lord, we don't have to be afraid. And that's why it's essential. It is most, most, we have to have the Holy Spirit in us, walking beside us. And those people that say the gifts of the gifts of the Spirit no longer exist, that's not true. That's a lie of the devil. That's a lie of the devil. The gifts of the Spirit does exist. It's free. It's free. And, and you know, if you, if you watched my video the other night, I spoke a little bit in tongues, a little bit in tongues, to directly with Jesus. It's the pra it's called the prayer language, and no, they they have not, this, they have not ceased, and they won't be until the Lord comes. There'll be no need no need for it. And we're up to almost 15 minutes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I love you all. Welcome to my channel. Come back and see me. I love you, very much. I love you all. God loves you. God loves you. He loves you. So turn your lives, please turn your lives over to oh, Jesus. It's over 13 minutes. <clears throat> Ask him to, 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 to or, or to give you a re, a re, refreshing. Those of you that, that are already Christians, ask him to give you a refreshing. A refreshing. And I'll say this again. Don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Pray. God will show you. Read read his his word. Read his word. Get deep into his word. Get on your knees and pray. Bow before God. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. It's this is it, people. This is it. No time for fun and games. No time. The Lord, the Lord put thoughts in my mind today about New Year's Eve. The devil, I mean, the devil put thoughts in my mind about New Year's Eve, about getting a pizza. And I know that with pizza, I always like beer. Well, see? No, no. Because the Lord doesn't want us drunken. He doesn't want us drunken. One beer can lead to two, three, four. If a person, if a person could stop at one or two, but he doesn't want us drunken. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, again, I love you. Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. Come back and see me. And I hope I don't lose any, any subscribers. But if I do, I spoke the truth. I spoke the truth. 
love you.